Today, live from the University of Limerick, uh, for the launch of this very special book about Morrissey. The man behind it all is Dr. Owen Devereaux from the Sociology Department. He's also Ireland's biggest Morrissey fan. I think I can say that without fear of being contradicted. And helping us also, Noel Hogan, guitarist and songwriter with the Cranberries. Noel, lovely to see you Hi, as well. Tom. Hi. Good morning, Owen. Tom. This is the culmination of a long trip for you, Owen. Um, feeling pretty happy today? Absolutely, yeah. It's a, quite a day. And um, my, co my co-editors, Aileen Delan and Martin Power, are here as well. Two years ago, we had a big conference about Morrissey in this very building, and it's it's wonderful today to see the fruition of this in the form of the book, and yeah. indeed to have the Tom Dunn Show come back well, to delighted, talk about it. We're delighted to be asked. Um, you have to say it is a very pertinent question from that that texter: Who is Morrissey, and what is his relationship? Where would I begin? How many hours have you, <laughs> well, <laughs> like, you broken God? I just I do I do think of a, a certain percentage of the audience who this morning are, are trying to get their hands on all Ireland tickets and are worried about Dublin and the line out and can we possibly stop sure, Kerry? And then yeah. something. Who's this Morris? Did he play for Kerry? Did he play for Dublin? Who is he? <laughs> How do you explain? Tell yeah, me. Yeah, well, Morrissey, uh, for those who don't know, Morrissey is this iconic songwriter, formerly leader of the Smiths, and for the last 22 years a solo artist. And he's really genuinely up there with the greats uh, in terms of songwriting in the 20th uh, century. So, as Noel Gallagher says, when the planet blows up, that the people being remembered in whatever year will be. Bowie, the Beatles, and, and Morrissey. There will always right. be Morrissey. And he's that important that, that he merits a book. I genuinely think he is. Uh, I mean, uh, if you, and if you look at the, the poll on the BBC a couple of years ago about um, the, the greatest living icon in terms of uh, contribution to culture, and Morrissey came second only to David Attenborough, beating Paul McCartney and David Bowie. Wow. <laughs> so it's at that level, you know. <laughs> no, I know you worked with his producer. Yeah. What, do, what do you make of all this when you hear this level of fandom and this level of analysis about um, it? I can understand it because um, like one of the reasons we worked with, with Stephen Street uh, is because we were all massive Smiths fans. Yeah. And uh, around the time when we did our first album, uh, he had just finished Viva Hit with Morrissey. And, um, you know, we were straight away a record company said, who, who do you want to produce your album? And it was like Stephen Street. There was yeah. only one choice, yeah. you know. So I can understand all this and... Uh, it's, it's a kind of familiar sight to Did us. Did you find yourself working with Stephen Street and trying to get stories out of him about yeah, Morrissey? Yeah, even we, we just finished uh, working with him back in March right. and we're still getting more stories. Really? Like, like it's got to be 20 years later now. Yeah. He's still got new <laughs> stories to tell us, you know. Um, and, you know, he, he, you work with Stephen and you realise he worked with Johnny Marr and, like, yeah. you, know, the, yeah. you know, massive influence. And... Um, you're, it's quite intimidating. You're there playing a couple of chords, and you know it's uh, it's worrying. He's telling you little stories about how songs came together in the studio, yeah, songs it, that have gone on to become exactly. You know, he'd tell you, uh, you know how what way they'd work in the studio that day. How they, you know, like that Morrissey would work at night. He'd come in when everybody here, like Johnny, would be there all day with the band, and you know it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have obviously this image of a band all kind of in. Amazing. Yeah, you know, yeah. it wasn't at all like that. And um, and he had a lot of stories about when he worked with him on Viva Hit, you know, uh, because obviously, you know, Stephen Cole wrote that album with him, produced it and played a lot on it. And, um, you know, I guess for them at the time, Morrissey had just left the Smiths. There was a lot of pressure there. What's going to happen now? Yeah. You know, I, I guess a lot of people wanted it to fail I guess and, you know people like to see you know yeah. someone like that like Morrissey to, to fail but it was the complete opposite like it was you know it's such an amazing album yeah incredible and um, do, do you own do you, do you make a big distinction between Morrissey the Smiths and Morrissey solo for you I, I do really and um I mean, the Smiths had a very short career, really. Four and albums. Like, yeah, four and a half, you know, nearly you know, they, five. They've just been reissued at the moment. Yeah. They arrived into the station, and <gasps> I spent about two hours just kissing them before I listened to them. I mean, I think there was 22 years of a distinct solo career, and there are very interesting highs, some yeah. lows as well, in, in that. And um, I mean, I don't go on about that. There's this tedious thing about will the Smiths reform and, and so on. Yeah. I mean, I think the Morrissey solo stuff is, in many places, more interesting sometimes yeah. than... Yeah, some of the Smith stuff. So, I mean, I, I like both. I can well, have both. When, when you go to approach him, <laughs> when you go to approach him from, from this level of yeah. analysis, what mm. kind of picture do you think emerges at the moment? Certainly complex, anyway. A very complex uh, person. I mean, the book deals with the relationship between fans and Morrissey, but it also deals with just the sheer level of complexity that Morrissey draws upon as an artist. I mean, from looking at the stage backdrops, looking at the imagery. I mean, nothing is 
you know, to chance with Morrissey, the artwork, the lyrics. I mean, things are so, so multi, multi, multi layered. Mm. And they're simply, it's, um, 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 you know, it's a gold mine in terms of the kind of analysis that people do about popular culture and music yeah. because there's simply so much to go on. And whether it's Morrissey's obsession with Oscar Wilde, whether it's his own obsession with the New York Dolls, yeah. whether it's him writing, uh, attempting to write storylines for Coronation Street or, uh, you know, b having 1960s soap opera fans as his sort of heroines or heroes. There's a huge gay uh, homoerotic mm. theme. God, you know, going yeah. the whole way through. So there's so much to go on and yeah. it's just endlessly fascinating. He has shot himself in the foot several several times uh, yeah. in the press and certainly a, p a person with clay feet does start to emerge. Yeah. Is that just part of, of the, the charm in some ways almost that he is well, very yeah, human? Well yeah, I mean he's human and flawed like the, the rest of us. I mean yeah. but there have been times that I have, he has said things for, uh, for example around animal rights and Chinese as subspecies and yeah. the most recent comment about Norway and when I agree with him about the fast food industry, I mean the words are really badly uh, yeah. chosen. So I suppose with, with power and influence comes responsibility and uh, he doesn't exercise that sometimes, yeah. but having said that, you know, it makes him all the more bloody interesting. It certainly does that. He'd make a great TV chat show host, may I say. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, on the one in. show, like two years ago on the one show, they were going on about unemployment and how awful it was to be unemployed. And he turned this on his head and said, well, what's wrong with being unemployed? You know, it's actually grand to do nothing. Yeah. As long as you don't have to put food on the table. Exactly. Yeah. When you're a millionaire, rock Just that, well, Most yeah. of us had very happy unemployed days, may I say, yes. the past yeah. long parts. Uh, it's a beautiful picture of the man, but tonight there's another aspect to this as well, isn't there? What's that about? Phil Collins is a video artist who went to Indonesia and he used a soundtrack from The World Won't Listen and it got uh, performers to come in and become the Smiths. So we're screening this first of all, it's a really interesting piece of film. Then we have a panel discussion with people like uh, Peter Finnan, who will be a guest later on, but also Len Brown, author of uh, Meetings with Morrissey. And uh, we're going to talk about the book and about Morrissey and about the controversies and so mm. on. There have been some controversies lately about Morrissey solo, the fan uh, websites. So we're going to talk about those kinds of issues. But then the best way to celebrate Morrissey, as we saw at the start of the program this morning, is through music. So these charming men are going to Great be a live band. set in Dolan's. Yeah. And then Peter Finnan is going to DJ until the small hours. Everything you ever wanted to hear by Morrissey and the Smiths. You mentioned meetings with Morrissey. You must be getting on his radar at this point. He must be aware there's a man in Limerick. <laughs> Loves him more than most other men in the world has produced Morrissey, this book about him. Well, I mean, I know for all sorts of reasons. I mean, I know that he's... I know that he reviewed the artwork of the book before we went to press and so on through a sort of mad coincidence. He got the very first copy of the book. Um, I mean, I do know that he's aware of the conferences yeah. we've had and he, he has asked questions about, well, how many people show up and what kind of questions do they ask and, right. you know, what sort of level is it at? Um, I, I don't really... People keep asking, do you want to meet him? And yeah. in a way, I don't really care. Really? You know, I mean, I think the art, the music, the lyrics... The artwork, the album covers, I think they almost stand for themselves. So yep. it doesn't really bother me. It would be a great laugh if I did. If he gave you the opportunity to find out if the leather runs smooth on the passenger seat, <laughs> would you take it? I'd pass. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell me about the cranberries. Are we, are we talking, um, you back in the studio, you're with Stephen Street, so is there going to be? Yeah, it's done, it's finished, mastered. Hey. All is this new material? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, uh, it's I, looking at February release. Yeah. Possibly a single before we can get our act together in the right. next few weeks. How many years were you actually apart? Six and a half. Is that really extended paternity and maternity leave? Yeah, yeah. It really was, was wasn't sad. it? Yeah, we never really, like, we knew it was going to come back round. Yeah. But I don't think we thought six no. years. I kind of was getting to the point I thought, I don't, <laughs> this could be I don't really see my travelling days <laughs> <laughs> coming back. Yeah. And then, out of nowhere, it just seemed to happen all very quickly, yeah. you know? So. But it's your life, you can't just... Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, like, you, even when you're not doing it six years later, it's still, yeah. you meet people and it's like, it, it kind of defies you in some ways, you know? It, yeah. It, it just, so it's mastered, going to be out on tours? Uh, yeah, um, I, January, February again, we brilliant, start back. Brilliant, Look you know, forward to that. Yeah, we just finished in August, so um, two years of kind of everywhere yeah. and anywhere, doing the greatest great hits, but we've made it that now, so, yeah. you know, well, just <laughs> <laughs> for that for a Never while. say never on the milking front. <laughs> yeah, it's you the, know. The, the kiff that gives and gives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, thanks very much for coming. Thanks, Lovely talking to you this morning. And Om, I'm sure we'll touch base with you again throughout the show. And thanks very much for having us. Delighted to be here, really. Is. And I'm delighted the book's doing You're so well. Sitting. Feet from where Morrissey played in uh, 1999. He played oh, here really? in you the can, concert hall. You can Next feel door. the electricity, can't you? Absolutely. You Even really now. care. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the first print is sold out as well. Yes. Got well the second print already. Well done. Yeah. Well done.